Hello everyone, this is uh, the video for everyone that attends the, uh, the Tai Chi class at uh, Cherrydale Bible Church. Um, we're covering the Chang Man Ching form, and we're going to start with the first section. Uh, the first posture is called preparation. Our feet are going to be in a V-shape. There's going to be about maybe two to three inches um, between the heels of our feet. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to lift that left heel and those left toes, and we're going to step out with our left foot, toes first, and then our left heel down. Now, in addition to that, we have some hand movements. And I want you to imagine holding a large exercise ball. So, first movement preparation is going to look like this. So let me do that again. Again, V-shape, heels not touching. I'm going to lift that left heel, hold that big exercise ball, lift my left toe, step out with my left foot, toes down first, left heel down. I'm going to shift all my weight to my left leg. My right toes are up. I want my right toes, they're at an angle. I want them to face 12 o'clock. So what am I going to do? Am I just going to turn my foot? No. I'm going to turn my waist, come up with a slight bend to my knees. My hands are facing down and slightly backward. Okay, so if someone were in back of me, they could see the palm of my hands. That's preparation. The next movement is opening. I'm just gonna raise my arms up to shoulder height. My wrists are gonna be limp. I'm going to extend my wrists and I'm gonna retract my arms back. Imagine a ball here going around the circle, around the curvature of that ball and bring my hands below my waist. So from the side, it's going to look like this. This is opening. Extend my hands, retract my arms, going around the curvature of that ball. Bring my hands down below my waistline. And that is opening. Now from opening, we're going to go into grasp the sparrow's tail. Okay, and you'll see this in the Chen Man Ching form. Chen Man Ching form, also known as the Yang style short form, 37. You're also going to see it in the Yang style long form. So here's grasp sparrow's tail. It consists of about um, five different parts. Some people say there are six parts. It depends on how you count. But here we go. The first movement is going to be ward off left. We're going to raise our right hand, bring our left hand under. We're holding a ball. We're going to, our right toes are going to come up, and we're going to pivot on that right heel. We're going to shift forward to 3 o'clock. My left toes are touched to the ground. I'm going to step forward, reposition my left foot. I'm going to turn my waist and separate my arms. This is ward off left. Now we're going to do ward off right. I'm going to shift forward. Again, I'm holding a ball. Right toes are touching the ground. I'm going to pivot to three o'clock slightly, reposition my foot, and I'll turn my waist to face three o'clock. And as I do that, my left hand really is not moving. It's just my right hand that's coming up. Well, when I turn my waist, I should be facing 3 o'clock. From here, I'm going to turn my hands out as if I'm holding a broomstick. I'm holding, so we're here, ward off right. Turn our hands out. I'm going to shift my weight back, sit back. Left hand is under my right elbow. And now I'm going to roll back. Right hand goes horizontal. Left hand loops around by my left ear. I'm looking actually at my left palm. And now I'm going to press. My left hand is facing the back of my right wrist. Now I'm going to take my right hand, take it out, shift back, and then push. And that is the end of grasp a sparrow's tail. So let me do that from the beginning. Here we go. Let's start. Preparation. Opening. Grass sparrow's tail. Ward off left. Ward off right. Roll back. Press. Separate and push. 